Hey guys and welcome to Technology. This is your host Salman and today I have a brand new walk around video for you guys of this beautiful 2006 Mazda RX-8. Um, I thought I'd keep you guys entertained and show you around the car um, that I just bought recently. Uh, this is one of my childhood dream cars you can say. I used, I still remember uh, racing these cars in video games back in the back in the time of PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 and Need for Speed uh, and you know finally getting a hold of this car in reality is uh, like a dream come true but you know, it's an amazing vehicle. It's not one of the most uh, reliable ones out there in terms of engines but it is a really really nice vehicle people love the shape and uh, you know you can see uh, and I'll, I'll show you around the car and uh, I'm Let's go and take a look so you can see these uh, first of all in the front this is the styling of this car really nice and snazzy styling in the front you got projector headlamps and wide open grills for uh, good airflow into the engine now this is a rotary engine and not a regular uh, piston engine now if you want to go deep into what a rotary engine is I cannot explain in this video because it's a whole different technology and uh, it requires another video. Uh, you could find other great videos online on YouTube about how rotary works and how rotary technology is actually. Uh, it's got alloy wheels. Now these do did come in two different trims. There's just this regular coupe and there's a Shinka edition uh, coupe that is, I think it had some other upgrades uh, like leather seats and all that. Not really sure about that. but. Uh, as far as this car is concerned, these are the alloy wheels. It's a 16 inch alloy wheels with two 225 55 R16 tires. Uh, brand new tires in the front. Brand new tires in the front. A little bit of substance from the roads. Uh, you got discs in the front, huge discs. In the front, new uh, with new uh, brake pads. In the front, these are ceramic brake pads that I just put in the, in the, on the car. You got a nice old, nice uh, grill over here. This is just fancy, doesn't uh, do anything much. It just evacuates the air that comes into the car. Uh, you got a, the hood on this car is very extremely large and that helps uh, in case you have a front end collision. It's, it, it, it is more of a safety measure to have a long hood like this in case you have a head on collision, something like that. Side view mirrors integrated into the windshield uh, very nice electronically for electronic uh, side view mirrors door hinge now this is actually a four door coupe so the back doors do open which I'll just show you in a minute as, as soon as we go inside and rare rare tires again the same 225 55 r16 size tires brand new tires on the rear as well all four tires are new uh, again uh, ceramic brake pads on the back and you have full discs on the rear end as well which provides great braking again it's very nice uh, styling on this car you have a huge rear windshield rear window I would say maybe you can call that and tail lamps really nice styled very nice styling on the tail lamps you can see the RX-8 badging Mazda badging and again Mazda and uh, it's not the actual plate of the vehicle. You got dual exhausts on the rear. One exhaust, two exhausts. I'll show you shortly how they sound. Um, you got you got a lot of uh, triangle shapes on this car to signify that it's a road tree. That, that's what they did. They, it's a small Easter egg kind of thing. Uh, this is the tailgate. Very small boot. Not a not a big one, but the good thing is you can fit considerable amount of stuff in the boot. But don't expect to fit a whole ton of luggage again. Uh, let's go ahead and pop up the hood and show you underneath. The hood is actually surprisingly, uh, the hood latch is right here. And you open the hood from here. The hood is actually really light because this is actually made of aluminum. The hood is made of aluminum. And the rear doors are also made of aluminum. 
rest of it is just steel so this is the this is how the engine bay looks it is a 1.3 liter twin rotary engine that produces uh 287 horsepower at 8500 rpm i think that's uh what i remember and uh 159 newton meters of torque at uh I believe it's 5500 rpm i mean you can always look up the specifications if i'm wrong but that's uh, some of the power figures it's a twin rotary it's not a piston engine uh there is a cover on the front that's missing it goes over the engine over here there's a cover on the front that's actually missing i don't have that but you know this is the bat the battery goes under this cover over here this is the air box fuse box and uh, you know all that good stuff just wanted to show you how it looks under the hood it's a really really nice uh, car and of course the reason why people uh, some people don't like this car is because it requires a lot of maintenance uh, you do have to fill oil regularly because it actually consumes the oil that you put inside the engine um, and it actually burns that oil so you need to keep on uh, refilling the oil in the engine and you know and these cars do require rebuilds if you don't maintain them well so they require rebuilds of around 100,000 miles this one currently has 62,000 miles and still runs like new uh, I'll just show you under the hood under the trunk see how big it is and there we go that's the trunk I have two rims in it but it's not it's not really big it does not come with a spare tire it just comes with a tire repair kit these never came with spare tires only a tire repair kit it comes to air uh, it comes with a pump and a tire repair kit solution so you can uh, fit uh, so you can fix the tire in case you get a flat tire and uh, it's it's fairly decently sized uh, you can fit one big luggage bag in here but don't expect to fit a lot of stuff in here it's not meant for transport of luggage now moving on the inside, this is how it looks generally, you've got bucket seats in the front, another rear door opens from this latch, you can pull it and you can see the rear door. I do have some stuff over here, uh, just an old piece of rear view mirror from, I had to replace the rear view mirror because it broke. Um, bucket that's some really nice comfortable seats these are actually great seats in the back it's not like other coupes where you know even if an adult sits in the back you're probably going to be pretty much comfortable because these are full-size seats you do have quite a bit of leg room even if you move this seat in the back you do still have quite a bit of leg room here and uh you know it's a very nice design only four people can sit you cannot put five people in here you do have some uh, armrests over here very nice design uh, again there's another door over there that opens and leads to a full-size back seat that door and getting on the inside I just want to show you real quick uh, we're running out of time you do have some buttons over here door uh, buttons for the windows door locks and locking the windows adjustment of the side view mirrors steering mounted steering mounted controls paddle shifters beautiful paddle shifters over here you can put the and this is an automatic transmission they do come in manual transmissions as well uh, but this is a manual transmission again these are cloth seats they do come with uh, um, some of the cars also came with leather seats i'm not sure how that option worked uh, Anyways, this is the, these are the seats, very comfortable seats, bucket seats, nice uh, bolstering on the, nice bolstering on the sides, provides good support when you're driving, you do have, again, armrest over here, this cup holder opens, I do have some stuff in there, and then you do have another uh, ashtray and a cigarette lighter over here, uh, this is the gear again, let me go ahead and show you how the key looks, it's getting a little too extended video is becoming long forgive me for that this is the key the key looks like this you press it and then the key pops up and then we are going to insert the key in here go ahead and lights light up we're gonna wait for five seconds before we started now some of these cars do take a few seconds to start so 
so like that it just took a few seconds to start and uh, I'm just going to quickly show you around how this uh, this is the entertainment system the radio works it's a really nice sounding radio you got AC controls radio controls nothing very much nothing special some of these also did come with a navigation system that used to open up from here again rear view mirror interior lightings and sun visors i don't know why do they have a uh, grill like this over here kind of odd but and then you got mirror over here of course to look at your beautiful self and this is how the odometer looks you got uh, fuel information coolant information oil temperature that's important to keep an eye out on for mileage on the right and you got a huge tachometer in the front and this is this is how it revs it's this engine is very rev friendly like you can rev it all day and it'll be happy you got a glove box over here which is decently sized and has got instruction manuals here the whole package of instruction manuals original instruction manual booklet with the matcha logo we're not going to look at that again power window options over there the the good thing about this car that i like is that the rear windows do open up like you have that small lock over there you can just uh, open that and they open up partially not fully but they open up partially to allow some ventilation uh, through the car and last but not least before ending the video i do want to show you how the exhaust sounds so i'm gonna keep the phone on the back and i'm gonna leave you guys here while i go up front and accelerate the car just I hope you enjoyed that now again like I said this does burn a lot of oil and uh, you know you got to keep refilling the oil every thousand miles or something like that uh, you need to keep on filling the oil in the engine because it's obviously gonna burn oil and as long as you maintain these good it's gonna last you a long time but eventually no matter how well you maintain you would need a rebuild sometime or the other but apart from that, this is a great vehicle. It's fun to drive. I might make another driving video uh, later, but for today, this is it. Uh, so again, sorry for making the video too long. Hope I didn't bore you guys. And if you have any comments or questions, I'll have to hear what you think about this car. Um, so thank you for watching. See you next time on Technology. Please do subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. Again, thank you very much. Have a good time. Enjoy. Keep away from the virus and... You know, bye-bye.